All right, what's up everyone? So today I'm gonna to be doing a Pinterest advertising traffic campaign tutorial. Since I did my last one, they actually updated, they added ad groups. So if you see my last one and you see this one, this is actually the updated one. So I'm gonna have a, an updated in the title. Um, it's March, 2017, so I made that one a couple months ago. Um, so basically what we're gonna do here, and I'm working on behalf of a client, Beachfront Decor. Um, what we're gonna be doing here is you basically go into ads.pinterest.com after you log in and you just have to make sure your billing is set up and you'll get a page very similar to this one. I have some traffic and activity here. You might not have too much. So um, what we're gonna do is come in here to the ad section and basically what we're gonna do is a traffic campaign. So you could do awareness, engagement, or traffic. Um, there's also some different things down here for conversion tracking, bulk editor, business settings. Um, this particular client doesn't have conversions on their website. Otherwise, I absolutely recommend you set them up. Um, their conversions are set up a little bit differently. Um, we're still able to track how things go, but I'm just not able to set the pixel. Um, but you absolutely want to set that up if you're able to. If you have like a Shopify website, very easy to set up. Um, so it's going to go into ads here and just come down to traffic. Um, so I have not one active traffic campaign, but I want to set up a new one. So we're just going to come in right here and click create campaign. Um, it's going to automatically go into tr get traffic to your website. You have the different things here, awareness, engagement. Um, instead of choosing a campaign, I'm going to do create a new traffic campaign. And what we're going to be um, advertising today are nautical lamps. So my campaign name is going to be nautical lamps. And I just did an engagement one. So if you want to look at that video, and it's going to be traffic. Lifetime spend cap is going to be $20, very similar to the last one. Um, so now we have our ad group here. So basically, I just want to target keywords here. I don't want to target interests or anything else. I just want to target keywords. Um, you can do start and end dates. I'm going to pick to end this at the very end of the month. So the 31st here. Um, daily budget. We're going to set very small daily budget. So just $3 a day. So it might run you know, only for about seven or eight days, or it might run for the rest of the month, depending on how much I spend. Uh, I'm going to keep my bids very low, get the most out of my absolute budget. So... This is good for beginners too, because I don't want to come in here and set up, you know, a, a five hundred dollar campaign lifetime spend cap and a, a hundred dollar daily budget, because most beginners don't have that. You kind of start smaller, so this is a good kind of introductory. Hopefully, it gets you wanting to test things. So, um, audiences, you can create remarketing audiences. You can upload an email list. You could do different things like that. We're not going to do that right now. Um, interest, same thing as well. Um, you could target different broad interest groups that Pinterest has set up. Um, so keywords here, so let's import some keywords. Um, basically keywords is you're gonna target people when they're sh um, searching for things directly in Pinterest. So I like to do line breaks rather than commas, either or works. Um, but basically just set up different keywords. What you can usually do, and I'm not gonna do it right now, is just search in Pinterest. I would search nautical lamps and it'd probably give me some different keywords like nautical lamp ideas, you know, nautical table lamps nautical floor lamps you know some different things like that so um, basically what I want to do is just find themes that are very similar to my article very similar to what's happening on this page over here where I'm sending traffic so you see like ship wheel lamps anchor lamps rope lamps different things like that lighthouse lamps so we want to make sure that when people are basically looking for these things that they're they'll find my article and and come in here and hopefully uh hopefully click through and and convert somewhere so some different things here nautical lamps nautical lamp ideas so um this should be good for now you'd probably want to add another maybe 10 15 keywords um you know for the sake of this i'm not going to so we're going to add keywords um the other thing you can do here is search for keywords and just do nautical lamps and they'll have a different a bunch of things come up um, usually DIY I don't want obviously because that's someone trying to do something themselves so not too much that works for me right now so we're just gonna do the eight selected here uh, locations I'm gonna do all US locations anyone who's looking for a nautical lamp I want to target languages I just want to target English my website's only in English so devices we're gonna do all devices keep it all open genders all genders if you're looking for a nautical lamp I want you um, so maximum CPC bid. So they're giving me a bidding option here between 52 cents and 57 cents. Um, so what we're going to do is come in here on the max CPC bid and 
let's set it up as I want to do it very low. So let's do 20 cents. So right now it's telling me that my oh right now it's telling me that my max CPC bid is a little bit too low. So what I want to do is maybe go a little bit higher. Basically until I could turn this yellow. All right, so now it's that it's yellow. Now it's telling me that I'll probably spend my daily budget every day. So what you can do is if you have the too low thing, so if you have this, what you want to do is add more keywords. Go up top, add more keywords here, and, and you'll be able to expand your campaign a little bit. Just make sure your keywords stay relevant. Um, I'm going to keep it too low because I just want to see how much I spend for the next few days. Um, so let's pick a pin here. Um, I just uploaded this pin, so nautical lamps, kind of a large pin. Um, different nautical lamps kind of collaged on there. Uh, if you need something to make Pinterest pins, I love using Canva. Um, so it's just canva.com. It's completely free. You go in there, you upload whatever you want, you do whatever you want. So canva.com, great service. Um, so what I'm going to do is name my pin first and do nautical lamps pin one. Um, and destination URL, we're actually going to keep this same destination URL. Let me just copy and paste it over here. Keep the same destination URL over here. And what we're going to do is add tracking through Google Analytics. So it's going to be basically Pinterest traffic nautical lamps and UTM. Now this will come right into Google Analytics. And if you're not familiar with this, then you, what you can do is search UTM tracking Google Analytics. Um, but basically, if you have Google Analytics set up on your website and you add this code to it, you're going to be able to go into it and see everything that's happening with your campaign. Um, if I had a more robust campaign, I would add more tracking for each individual ad group, for each individual pin, if I had multiple pins. Since this is very simple, keeping it very simple, um, we're going to get it set up just like this. So promote pin now. And once you click that, you're basically done. So now I'm in my campaign here. It's Nautical Lamps. It's a traffic campaign. You'll see my ad group name is Keywords. Um, so we're targeting all, all of the different keywords that we set when we click into our ad group. So now we're in our ad group Keywords. Our daily budget's $3. Maximum bid is $0.20 cents per click. And here's our pin. It's pending right now. It should hopefully... Pinterest is pretty quick, um, but it takes a few hours actually to... Uh, to get your pin live so hopefully you learned something today uh pinterest changed up their traffic campaigns on me basically a month or two after i just created a different uh different video so um if you see the other video you see this video make sure you do the updated one which is this one obviously you're you're listening to it but um hopefully you learned something today and uh thanks for joining me